What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quitty Bags and welcome back to our Minecraft Bedrock Guide Series. So today my dudes, you guys have read the title correct. We are finally going into the nether and we are going to be creating a nether hub. Now, basically, what is a nether hub? A nether hub is basically an area where um, it's going to be our main base in the nether. Now, ever since we kind of like threw some portals down there, we haven't really made a nether base. So what we're going to be doing is making a nether base. And then we will also be, um, because in previous episodes, if you guys haven't checked out previous episodes, make sure to check out the whole series before starting this episode. Um, if not, it's, it's no big deal. But basically, in previous episodes, we linked up a bunch of portals. And they're kind of basically fast travel. Um, it's kind of like a fast travel walkway um, to other areas in the overworld so basically the underworld is um, eight steps versus one step in the overworld so every one step we take in the overworld equals eight steps in the underworld so what we're gonna be doing today is making a hub area where we can walk down we're actually gonna be using boats I'm not sure if we're gonna set up the whole um, boat contraption area um, and travel like that or not but basically we're just gonna make a really nice nether base so I'm gonna collect up some supplies and uh, we're gonna go down there and we're gonna basically make a really, really nice area, a large area that we can call our nether hub and start making pathways off of in the future with packed ice, with boats, and we can get to areas faster than traveling in the overworld. Now it's gonna be super, super handy and I hope I encourage you guys to make a nether hub because honestly, they're really cool. So let's get right into it. Let's not waste any time. And before we do my dudes, let's see if we can smash that 50 like goal. I say this every episode, because you know what? We're going to get close to 50 likes on one of those episodes. All right, my dudes. And also, if you have not yet, make sure to smash that sub button because you guys want to join the dudes. So make sure to smash that sub button to become one of the, my dude, become one of my dudes. And also, my dudes, make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss a single episode. All right, let's get started. I'm going to go get the supplies and then we're going to go to the nether. All right, my dudes, I got us a ton of gear going here. As you guys can see, I filled this shulker box. We got some basalt. We got all kinds of nether type uh, materials in this box. So we're going to head down to the nether through the portal, and we're going to start building our um, our nether hub. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm almost thinking like some nether brick slabs as the flooring and do polished blackstone bricks as the wall. I'm not sure. We're going to see. And then maybe do basalt pillars uh, because polished basalt looks pretty good. So we're going to bring some stuff down there, and we're going to kind of see as we go. Um, first things first, though, once we get in there, I'm going to fill up some lava buckets and get all these furnaces going because uh, we like some netherrack bricks so i'm gonna get in there and uh we're gonna get a ton of lava come back put it in and then we can start building all right so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna put down our shulker boxes this is gonna be our main area as you guys can see here uh, it is kind of a little awkward uh, but it is going to work. It is definitely going to work. I'd love to put some big windows and stuff, but we're going to size up this whole room and make a whole custom room. I'm not sure how big we're thinking. I don't want to go too big where it almost, I don't know, it just does, it just looks like it needs to be filled in. But I want to make it really cool because this is going to be our main highway path. And then uh, eventually we can do all kinds of different entrances and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some lava and then we're going to get started on building this thing. Uh, and, and I'm going to have to make it down there somehow oh we still have our ladder here so that's a good thing and uh one thing i'm gonna do here is just pop a fire resistant potion because you know what why not right all right so let's grab as much lava as we can hold here and uh then we can start smelting down some stuff and get building all right so i'm gonna set everything up and get it ready to smelt and then we're gonna head in there and start laying out the floor like i said i don't want to go too big but we'll do like i'm thinking like a 20 by 20 um nether portal i mean like a nether hub so we'll see when i get in there and then i want to do some glass windows some black stained glass windows in it so you can kind of see the lava pouring around uh, but let's get in there and uh, we'll start sizing up the floor all right so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna do the floor out of nether brick slab i want this portal to be kind of like the center of the room i'm thinking we might go we might honestly um build it like all one floor and then build it so you have to kind of walk up to the portal almost and maybe even make this portal bigger um so i'm thinking that's what we're gonna do um what i'll start doing now is just ripping out the floor ripping out all these walls and then we can kind of get a shape going here and i think i'm gonna start with a 20 by 20 and uh, see how that looks and if it's too big or if it's too small then we can always adjust it later so uh, i'm gonna basically speed this up 
And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit when I get all these walls ripped apart and I get kind of a floor idea laid down. Because as you guys can see here, I'm, uh, I've gotten started here. Uh, nothing crazy yet, obviously, but uh, we're working on it and it's slowly coming together. Um, we got some of the floors down, but oh god, what? Oh, this is my chest. This is my shulker box, not yours. I even have a golden helmet on. Um, so what I'm gonna do is set up some chests in here. Oh god, you want to fight too? Come on, bros. Oh my god, come on. Oh, one shot. All right, l let's all be friends here. Okay, so I'm gonna set up some um, furnaces and then get working on this place. All right, so I finally, finally, finally got the floor done. This actually took way longer than I thought it was going to. Um, so I have the floor done in nether brick. Now we're gonna work on the walls. Now the only issue I have right now um, is that we don't have a ton of blackstone. So I'm thinking we're gonna do polished blackstone bricks as the walls. And then I'm not sure what we should do as the roof, if we should do blackstone bricks as the roof, or if we should do basalt, polished basalt. But I was kind of almost thinking about doing polished basalt as the pillars here. Um, kind of like an entranceway to the um, nether highway, basically, as you'd call it. Because this is basically our nether hub right here. Um, once I get it all walled off and get a ceiling in, inside of it, it'll look pretty good. Um, we'll probably put some maybe flowing lava on the sides for decorations. And uh, soul torches to keep all the piglins out. Um, so what I think I'll do now is I will see how much uh, nether brick we actually have. See if I'm going to be able to do it currently, um, which I highly doubt I'm going to. I'm probably going to have to go look for an area for that actually has um, that has that uh, blah, 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 blackstone. So we're going to have to go look for some blackstone. And actually, you know what? I'll just fill in what we can for now. All right. So this is what it's going to actually look like with the blackstone walls, which we're probably going to do a pretty high ceiling. I might do um, five high walls. And then do that as the ceiling up there as the six block. Um, because I really want it kind of tall in here. And I think what we're going to do is make a big portal um, as our main portal. And make steps up to it kind of. And make it kind of touching the roof. Um, I think that would look kind of cool. But this is what it's going to look like. Now I just have to come up with a ceiling idea. I'm really not sure yet. Because I don't really want to do blackstone bricks. But maybe if we do basalt. I'm not sure. Because I wanted to do basalt as the um, pillars like I said. So I'm really not sure about that other part here. All right, so that was what I was thinking about doing as kind of like the doorway ideas for the actual um, nether highways. Now in the future, I'm gonna, today I will make a um, starter highway, but in the future, we're gonna have multiple highways, I'd imagine, to different biomes. Like I would love to just kind of just go down there and make a biome and see what happens, like make a portal and see where it leads us. Um, eventually we're gonna need one to the jungle as well. So you never know which way we're actually gonna have to make it But currently all our areas that we have portal set up is that direction and then we can kind of have branches off with like um, We can kind of set up gates basically and make them stop our boat and then get out You know, what I mean break the boat hit it again and go across which I'll show you guys what I mean in a few minutes um, Well, not a few minutes after I'm done building this hub So what I'm gonna do is go get some blackstone now. We're gonna have to go search through the nether um, for a blackstone vein or area and then uh, we can kind of continue this build. All right, now I just remembered there is a bastion remnant over there um, where the piglin fortress is. So I think I'm going to go over there, but this is going to be a really, really hurtful jump. So three, two, one. Oh God. Oof. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Heart and a half. Okay. I need some arrows. I totally forgot to bring arrows against these guys. They are not happy with me. All right, so let's get some um, let's get some blackstone. There's probably gonna be a ton over here. Hey, would you look at this? We found a chest that we didn't find last time. Lots of obsidian in it. Some soul speed boots. Oh, that's cool. And uh, as you guys could tell, the piglins are very upset with me. I don't know if you can hear them anymore, but they are um, very upset. All right, about um, five or six pickaxes later, and we have quite a bit of blackstone, and we I even turned some into polished blackstone bricks already. Um, we got some gold. We got some gilded blackstone. We're going to head back to the base now, if I can find my way back. I kind I kind of know what, my way back. And uh, we're going to start building this place up and hopefully get it done in the next uh, half an hour. And then we can try out the um, we can try out the nether highway with the ice and the boats. 
So, we will go back and uh, we will check it out. And I might switch up some of the materials we already started using. All right, so we made our way back. And uh-oh, we got some bad guys in our house. This is going to be an issue. So we will put soul sand, um, the soul torches up with... Uh, we'll do like soul lanterns. So I'm going to get this um, polished blackstone bricks put in. And then uh, I'm thinking, honestly, what we're going to do as the roof is just natural blackstone. Like, literally, I, I think it'll look good because it kind of has that cobblestone look to it. I think it'll be good as a roof. And I'm not sure if we're going to keep this nether brick as the um, flooring. Maybe just for now. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I'm going to get the walls put on and then we'll do the roof. And then we can deal with if I want to add a kind of different design as the floor. I'm very undecided. Sometimes I really don't like nether brick. But I'm trying to make it kind of a nether fortressy kind of look. So um, let's get this done and I will be right back. Let's time lapse this. All right, the walls are officially in. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put our ceiling in and we are done here. And then, uh, like I said, we might fix the roof. So all I'm gonna, I mean, the flooring. Um, so I'm just gonna do black stone as the roof like this. Actually, yeah, I do like this. I, I like it, I, I don't mind it. All right, we are totally filled in here. I'm not, I, you know what? I don't really mind the red flooring. Uh, it's not too bad, but um, we are gonna have to go back home and get a diamond pickaxe. And then we can start shaping up um, the portal because I think we're going to do a larger portal that reaches up to the roof. And I think large portals can go to small portals. I will have to test it. All right, so we're going to rip apart this portal. Actually, let's move all this stuff first. Uh, let's get all this moved over. And then we're going to rip apart this portal. And we're going to make a bigger portal in the center of the room. All right, so I'm going to try something for a minute here. I'm not sure if I'm digging these pillars as basalt. I don't know why. I just feel like it's not flowing with the room. Room. Um, hmm. What about if we do this? Let's see here. What if we do polished basalt up there, up there, and down here, and down here? Like that kind of looks cool. Actually, I like that. You know what? I'm going to leave that how that is. And then I think I'm going to do polished down here. The chiseled polish down there. All right. Let's see if chiseled. Let's see if we make like a pathway with chiseled. If it'll change my opinion. Because honestly, I don't know what it is. I just absolutely hate nether brick. But maybe if we put chiseled like this coming up to this pathway, maybe it won't be so bad. And maybe if we did like a pattern of chiseled all the way around the outside, maybe I wouldn't mind it so much. Let's, so let's try it out. All right. So I am liking the chiseled nether brick. So what we're going to do here is we're doing... The um, chiseled nether brick around the outside and then we're going to do kind of like a cross shape um, in the middle and have it overlapping around the outside and I'm going to really like that. Um, but I have to wait for all these nether bricks to smelt so while we're waiting I'm going to tear up this floor for our nether highway and we're going to start putting the packed ice in. And as uh, long as everything goes smooth, we should be good to go. So I'm going to dig all this up, put the packed ice in, and I will be right back, my dudes. All right, these piglins are going to be a bit of a problem. So I think what I'm going to do in a few minutes, once we get our portal made, I just put the packed ice in. But once we get the portal made, um, what I'll do is uh, we'll go and get some uh, coal. And then we can make those soul sand torches and, well, the soul torches. And then we can start hanging up all kinds of um, lanterns all everywhere, especially down this path. We're going to have to fill it with soul torches, but I think we'll do soul sand, the soul um, lanterns on the inside here. So I'm going to hopefully get this portal. Um, actually, we probably have another nether brick now to probably fill in the floor. So let's fill in the floor and then get a portal built. And then we should be good to go here. All right, my dudes, so we are ready to set up our portal here. So what I'm going to do is kind of set up a larger scale portal. And uh, we're going to probably make it all the way to the roof if we have enough supplies here. How many do we have left? We have 12 pieces left, so we should be good to make it up here. 
We could even make it go into the roof like that. All right, that's big enough. That's definitely big enough portal. That looks pretty cool. Um, so, and then let's remove this. I just kind of put that temporarily for counting. And now we need stairs. All right, so we can make nether brick stairs. Let's check out what these look like. Or should we make like a, like a deck around it kind of almost? Maybe we should do something like that. What if we, What about if we did this? Hold on, let's see. Where's that gilded... Um, Gilded black stone. What if we did something like this all the way around it? Kind of give it a different look. Uh, I don't know. Maybe? What if we did this on the sides too? Uh, it kind of looks cool. And then maybe um, nether brick stairs to it. Or too bad we could do gilded stairs. I'm just trying to be creative here. I'm trying to think of something kind of neat here. Maybe something like that. That kind of looks neat. Do like that. Maybe like, I don't know, the other side too. All right, what about this? This doesn't look too bad. I don't mind the look of that. Gilded uh, black stone with the black stone slabs. It's kinda, this room's kind of coming together. Um, and then I also want to do torches in here, like the lanterns, like I said. But I'm thinking about doing like, like kind of almost like fountains, but of lava in the corners. That would look pretty neat. All right, let's light this portal. Will this expand my portal at home? Let's check it out. Okay, no it doesn't. That is really, really good news. That is cool. So apparently when you have a smaller portal here, it doesn't, it, like if you make a bigger portal anywhere else, it doesn't affect the size. So that is really good news. All right, so let's put our boat down here. And oh my God, look how fast that is. Oh, oh, oh God, oh God, we're stuck in the roof. Okay, we got to make sure the roofs are three high before we get out of the boats. Oh my gosh, did you guys see how fast that is? That was insane. So basically, this is going to be our way to fast travel through the nether. Now, it's nice because you could just hop on the boat and literally skirt, skirt. Oh my gosh, and you're already here. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Okay, so that's really cool. All right, let's do it one more time. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Okay, that's so cool. I've never actually made a nether highway. Like I said to you guys, all these things we're doing in this series is literally new for me. And why I made this series was because I wanted to learn about Minecraft and get better at it. And making a guide series would help me learn and uh, try out all these little things like making a nether hub and another highway. So I think this is turning out really good. Now, so I'm going to get all these soul um, torches in and stuff like that and lanterns. And then we can work on extended the packed ice because we have lots more of packed ice. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the whole way today, but I'm going to make sure we can um, have like little stop areas and branch off. Like because over there, our portal on the right side here goes to the stronghold. Then our portal at the end goes to that town in the winter area. So this is going to be really, really cool because now we're going to have like little pit stop areas in between where we can put a sign down like, you know, stop and to the right. Um, leads you to the stronghold and stuff like that. You guys get what I mean. That is absolutely amazing though. So I'm going to get all these torches built. We're going to get this um, area torched in and uh, make sure no piglins are spawning. Now, if you guys don't know how to make soul torches, all it is is coal on the top, sticks in the middle, soul sand on the bottom, and boom, you have soul torches. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to put these all along here. Um, every few blocks, I guess. I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll just kind of do it as we go here. Also, a good thing to know is piglins are scared of soul torches. So apparently it keeps them away. All right, so time to clean up all this junk here. And then we can kind of get everything a little bit more organized. Eventually, we're going to bring all this stuff home. I don't think we're going to have a chest room here. I'm not sure yet. All right, so we're going to start by putting some lanterns in here just in the corner like this. Well, just like that. And then uh, we'll do some on the other side over here. I think I'll just do them in the corners here. And just hopefully it'll help from piglins spawning. Because it is kind of annoying when you come to the nether and uh, piglins are all in here. All right. So I got all our um, soul lanterns set up. I still have five torches to spare. Um, we're going to have to find some soul sand. I don't think I have any left. I just have soul soil. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go and set up um, little hub areas where we can park our boat um, after we rip down there. So what I'm going to do is just get some black stone, polished black stone bricks. We're going to bring it down there and we're going to set up little hub areas. Um, I think what we can do here, I was going to use fences, but honestly, I don't think we're going to need fences. Oh, actually, maybe. Hold on here. We might set up, break these out. I should have used my silk touch pickaxe, but that's okay. 
break these out and uh, maybe we'll put fences right there just so it can slow us down or um, gates I should say so I should go get my ice we'll get all our ice um, laid out and then we can work on the um, deciding what we're gonna do if we're gonna put up um, gates so that, that it can slow us down or what I'm not sure yet let's see how much it slows us down when there's uh, two four um, pieces of material down over there all right so let's rip over there and see how much this slows us down here actually that slows down pretty well you know what honestly we might not have to put gates up I, I don't I honestly don't think we really have to okay so let's start filling in this packed ice all right so I got all the pack uh, packed ice placed for the stronghold path oh my god this is so entertaining I can't lie okay I just cannot lie about that all right so I'm gonna break this nether brick over here and uh, we are going to put down some black stone polished bricks, just like that. And then um, this needs to be fixed right here. That that was a little scary. All right, so that is our stronghold path now. Oh, what? But marshmallow, what? What are you doing down here? Have you been waiting here since the Ender Dragon? Oh wait, no, since the End City episode. Oh my gosh, come home. That is so weird. I totally forgot. Dudes, why didn't you guys tell me anything about Marshmallow? I can't believe nobody even realized. All right, let's go home, Marshmallow. Oh my god, that's so weird. All right, Marshmallow, do you want to hop in the boat with me? Do you want to, do you want to come in the boat? Uh-oh, come on. Uh-oh, I, I don't know if he's going to hop in. All right, we'll just leave him. Let's just, let's just rip. He'll follow us. All right, so this is set up absolutely perfect now. I'm really, really liking this. This is really cool, my dudes. I hope you guys like this. This is cool. I like this idea. So um, I'm going to get all this stuff out. We're going to put some lava fountains in the corners. And uh, I think this uh, I think this room's pretty good. Oh, Marshmallow decided to come in the boat last minute. You could, you could chill in the nether if you want for a bit. Yeah, I don't mind. You were at that stronghold for so long. I can't believe that. Now, I'm unsure what I want to do with this lava here. I, I don't know if I want to do a lava fountain or maybe like a lava stream with glass surrounding it. Because that would be kind of cool too. Maybe if we did like a four wide one like this and had um lava actually streaming down with glass panes all the way around it that could be really interesting looking or you know what maybe let's bring it a little closer let's do it like right there do we have any let's push this in here but maybe let's do it like that in each corner so one away in each corner i'll dig out and uh let's see what this looks like this could look really cool all right this is what it would look like not too shabby and if we put glass all the way around it surrounding it it i think it would look pretty cool all right so i'm going to go get some um we're gonna go get some glass panes and we're gonna place it around it and see what it looks like i want to do dark um glass panes so i'm gonna have to go kill some octopuses and then i will be back all right some reason today is the most impossible day to find squids apparently um i do not know why oh never mind i spoke too soon there's like a patch of four over here all right so let's get all this glass stained up here and then we can go back down all right we got 264 of pains that's probably tons my dudes i think this will fit perfectly around the lava but i have to see all right let's check it out here all right, so this is what it's going to look like. Kind of cool. I like it. I think it'll look good. We might need a few more glass panes, though, because as you guys can see, we use like 64 on each on just one thing. So let's get this built, and we'll see how it looks in the end. I think it looks pretty good, though. All right, my dudes. So I'm going to go over quickly on what I did. I decided to put this chiseled nether brick all the way around these lava kind of fountain areas. Um, and also we have the um, black stained glass panes all the way around it. The panes don't look bad. It almost gives it a greenish glow from the lava. I'm not a fan, a huge fan of it. But for now, it's going to stay exactly how it is. Um, but I think we did a pretty good uh, job on a nether hub today, if I do say so. So myself um, we also got all the way down here and then you can kind of jump over here and go to the stronghold so I think we did a pretty good job for day one honestly we will modify and improve it as days go on of course but this was just an episode to get like the the platform down ready and made um, because this is gonna be a really cool nether hub and I made it so eventually we can make pathways out there and uh, make pathways out here. It's gonna be a really, really cool build in the long run of things. And uh, I got all the soul torches and lanterns in here. So it looks really good. 
Now, my dudes, I'm going to wrap up today's episode. Now, I said last episode we were going to go get a music disc every single episode. Today, we are skipping that because I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of tired, and um, we've been work I've been working on this for almost two and a half hours, which is pretty good, honestly. I think we did a good job for how much time I've been working on it. So, my dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, this is a really, really cool one. If you guys haven't checked out previous episodes of this series, make sure to go check those out. But today, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see if we can smash that 50 like goal. And also, if you are new to the channel and want to become one of the dudes, smash that sub button, my dudes, and also hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload. Now, just a little tip. I will not be having a video come out for Tuesday. We are going to be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week. I know I said I wanted to get back on a daily upload schedule, but work's just been kind of busy and I just got moved and everything. But don't worry. Eventually, we will get back to a daily upload schedule and we might start a new series because I kind of dropped off with the Skyblock series. But anyways, my dudes, have an amazing night, have an amazing day or afternoon, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Minecraft Guide series. Peace out, my dudes, and have an amazing one.